Hello, Nerdians. My name is Josh, a Guild Player, and I am your coach of the New York Metagross. Welcome, one and all, back to the IBL season number five, week number eight. Your New York Metagross are taking on Borden, aka Dark Devil 26, coach of the Marvel Mudsdales in this epic battle. So, we are currently 4 and 3. We lost last week after Infernape did Infernape things to every part of us. And uh we're uh we're looking for a good win cuz a good win here will put us in really good chances for playoffs. And I believe it will put us in actually the number 3 spot. So, really good chance for playoffs. But 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 but, but, but that's not what we're concerned about right now. Right now we got to worry about Mr. Born in here. And his, uh, his scary team, his team, that apparently he does not like, but his team that consists of Z Garchomp, Mega Deancy, Milotic, Scizor, Hitmonchan, Roserade, Miss Magus, Zorark, Ronafan, and Z Heatmore. So, very scary team, very offensive team, and a team that does not, uh, I do not handle too, too well, but we're going to go for it anyway, so... First thing I noticed was, uh, first of all, shout out to my front office, as always, for being the GOATs and helping me build my team. Shout out to, I think, Judas for getting my team for me. And shout out to, once again, as always, the GOAT, the greatest human being ever, Joseph Gaines, for recording my game once again. Uh, I'll have to look at that later, but something, 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 sheets. Uh, but anyway, first one we have is going to be my Karen Black. Uh, Kieran Black, of course, destroys him. It destroys everyone. It is a Kieran Black, for God's sake. And it is a Baberry Berry, so we can take that Bullet Punch from the Scizor and smack it with that HP Fire. I have Fusion Bolt and Ice Beam as coverage because it absolutely, like I said, destroys him. His uh, only Ice Resists are... Uh... Oh. His only Ice Resists are, of course, the Milotic, which gets hit by Fusion Bolt, Scizor, which gets hit by Eden Power Fire, and that is uh, Heat War. But that's not a Pokemon, so lucky for us, he only has nine Pokemon. So then, last but not least, we have Roost there. Roost is really nice because for certain versus a lot of his Pokemon, such as well, not a lot, but versus a few of his Pokemon, like mainly the Melodic, I can get a Roost off and stay healthy. Uh, we're not going to talk about these EVs; they're just insane. So, uh, next one we have is going to be my Mega Venusaur. Mega Venusaur is Curse, Knock Off, Power Up, and Synthesis. If anybody remembers my IBL Season Four run, you will remember this set very well. So, this is really, really good because especially Defensive Mega Venusaur handles a lot of his teams, such as the Milotic, the Roserade to an extent, the Zoroark to an extent, Miss Magis, uh, Mega Deancy, all, you know, barring certain psychic coverage. However, uh, the physical mods, of course, I can also handle, but I handle them better once I'm cursing up. And once I'm start, cur start cursing up, he really doesn't have good grass resist. I mean, he has the Roserade and the Scizor, but I can knock them off until. What the hell? Go away. Did my internet die? No, I'm just. Okay. But I can knock him off for days, so I can take care of that. Really, really nice. So this is a nice late game, bulky setup win con. So, but also it's a general pivot against just about everything on his team because he really has a hard time breaking through Mega Venusaur. But the next one we're bringing is going to be uh, Pantsless, Slowking, Slack Off, Scald, Flamethrower, and Psychic. So this is really, really nice as it switches in on the Mega Deancy. It's one of my Mega Deancy counters, and I'm more Fizz Def because. Uh, my rock resists aren't the greatest. You know, I have uh, Passimian and I have Rhyperior. And that's about it. I mean, Skarmory isn't really a rock resist, so I don't expect a Max Attack Diamond Storm set to be coming. So I'm kind of more prepared for that. I do have other checks, especially more especially offensive Mega Deantes, but Diamond Storm I'm more ha I'm handled for on the Slow King. I also can handle Garchomp to an extent with this. I can also handle my Lodic a little bit. To an extent, I can switch in on Scald. It's a nice Scald Absorber, and I can pivot out uh, accordingly. Good for Heatmore. It's here as a nice pivot. It pairs really nicely with the Mega Venusaur. Psychic is really nice because it's going to allow me to hit the Roserade. Scald is really nice because it's Scald, and it's an amazing move. Even though Burn is nerfed, it still does really good things. And then Flamethrower is there, of course, for the Scizor. So... Uh, next one we're bringing is going to be Rabombi, Choice Specs, Moonblast, U-Turn, Hidden Power, Fire, and Defog. I love Rabombi. I love Rabombi so much. It is such a goat mon. And if I can get rid of the Scizor, his, gra his uh, fairy resist becomes Rose Raid, which I definitely expect to be... Well, oh, heat more, but again, not a Pokemon. Uh, but... I... Uh, Rose Raid is only fairy resist after Scizor. And that gets weakened down really, really um, quickly. Just due to, you know... 
general coming in, and especially since I was expected to be Life Orb, because a Life Orb Rose Raid, basically two it with my entire team, which is awesome. I love when that happens. So I expect that thing to be worn down really, really quick. So Moonboss is really spammable with his team. I outspeed anything that's not a Scarfer. And I have Defog on here just as a uh, last move, because I didn't really need anything else. I could have run with Psychic if I really wanted to for the Rose Raid, but I didn't feel like it was needed. I felt Defog altered more coverage. So, or you do. Utility. Ooh. Now my speed is very interesting. I'm very, very fast. Why am I very, very fast? Why was I very fast? I don't remember. It might be based on that speed. It might be something like a scarf heat more or something. I'm not sure. Moving on. I think it was around that though. Uh, I have Manectric. So this is a fun set. Uh, Manectric has Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Overheat, and Ice Fang, and I have Ice EMZ. So this is really nice because I could run uh, Hidden Power Ice and, you know, 2 KO Guard Chomp on the Switch, or 2 KO Roserade on the Switch. Maybe, if Roserade's not super bulky. Uh, but Hitmonchan is also a nice switch in, but... Uh, regardless, I don't really like 2 KOing and having to predict just to be able to get a 2 KO off. So, I have Z Ice Fang, and I outspeed Guard Chomp and Roserade both. So... Should the situation come where I don't think that the Pokemon is uh, faster than me, I can fire off an ICMZ and I guarantee Oko Garchomp, and after a Rocks or a one Life Orb hit, I guarantee Oko Roserade. So, uh, nice low tech there. But uh, Electric is really spammable versus him. Of course, his only Electric immunity is Garchomp, and his only other resist is the Roserade. So, I'm free to just to click Electric moves all day long. Uh, Scizor. Of course, I have Overheat, therefore, and then I have Lightning Rod for, uh, reasons. No reasons. Ah, uh, Rotom. Yay. So I have a reason. Whew. But anyway, uh, that's my Mega Man trick. And last but not least, we have Skarmory with Iron Head, Roost, Taunt, and Spikes. This is a bulky, uh, mixed bulk Pokemon. A lot of speed, just so I can outspeed stuff like a, uh, Milotic, Scizor. Ooh. Uh, Uninvested Hitmonchan, etc. Taunt mainly Scizor and my lobby can stop them for recovering. And just get up spikes because they're very nice. I have Iron Head for the DMC, so I'm not really worried about that thing magic mounting my stuff back. And if he does, good on him because that was a great prediction. So, getting into the actual battle, as you're going to see here in a second. Cool. There we go. Uh, so, Mr. Borenton has decided to bring his Roserade Garchomp. Mega Deancy, Scizor, Hitmonchan, and Zorork, which is very interesting to me. Uh, immediately, I see that there is no Miss Magis, which is very nice because Miss Magis had a chance of being threatened. I see there's no Milotic, which is amazing, and I see that there's no Rotom Fan or Heatmore, which I wasn't really expecting. I was more expecting Milotic to come over Zorark, but, you know, this team also is, of course, what he just felt more comfortable with. So, uh, looking at team matchup, he has... Uh, no answer for my offense. <laughs> my offense destroys him. I really want to lead with the Rabombi. I have to be scared of that. Zorark. Oof, I have to be scared of that Zorark. So you're going to see me make a couple interesting plays that are going to be kind of like scouting for it to be the Zorark and just making sure that I don't get surprised. Okay, by like a Dark Pulse. So, without further ado, let us jump into this game versus Mr. Borden. Now, Mr. Brendan, I'll call him by his real name, Mr. Brendan is here challenging us, and he is going to lead off with his Rose Raid. I thought I let off my Rabombi. My Rabombi, I feel like, matched up really, really well against his team, and I could U-turn out versus anything I felt uncomfortable with. The fact that he leads Rose Raid kind of does give me a little bit of suspicion that this thing could be a uh, Trace Scarf, so I'm going to scout for it. I'm not going to U-turn out, even though uh, it turns out that he's Life Orb, and I'm going to go hard out into my current Black. I expect him to go for Select Bomb, which I can take. And then I could ice beam him afterwards, and if he's Scarf and he can outspeed me, I will be able to 2 AKO or uh, kill him on the next turn, because I will take 2. And if he's not Scarf, like he is Life Orb here, I will be able to outspeed him and be able to ice beam him. So, uh, making the offensive play into Zor uh, to Kieran Block was definitely the play. Here, I know he's going to switch out of this road right into his uh, Mega Scizor, or into his regular Scizor. Let me go back. Actually, this is going fast. Uh, let me go back a bit. Where's the road right? So. This Rose Raid. The reason I stay in versus this Rose Raid is because while this could be the Zoroark disguised as a Rose Raid, because they both learn Sludge Bomb, and I could potentially be Dark Pulsed here into Oblivion, uh, that damage tells me he's Technician. So, uh, a regular Hidden Power would not have done that much damage. 
like hidden power fire would not have done that much damage unless he was technician. So I know that he's technician here, so I know that he's a rose raid. So I click hidden power fire, it would have done a lot to this rose raid. And um, if he goes into scissor like he does, I get a huge chunk of damage off on that. And I'm also with Beery Beery. Uh, and his damage tells me he has at least sub bulk, so if he does go for Bullet Punch, I will be able to uh, live it, and I can just finish him off with the Ice Beam here. So uh, immediately, I get rid of a huge threat to my team in that Scizor going down early. Very, very nice for me. And then he is going to go out into Shine Bright, the Mega DNC, the Threat of Threat. So I'm going to switch out and out of here. I don't have a Rock Resist on my entire team. Obviously, the Diamond Storm or the Power Gem is incoming, so I'm going to go out into my Slow King. As this Mega DNC is going to Mega Evolve, and we're going to see the move that this Mega DNC decides to use, and it is going to be Power Gem. So Power Gem is, of course, going to tell me that this is going to be especially defense, or especially offensive Mega DNC, and I can act accordingly with the rest of my plays and my team as things go. So here, I know he's going to switch out once again. I know that this thing he's not is not going to stay in on me. I'm going to be able to scald it and get a lot of damage off. So I'm actually going to go for my other stab move, which is going to be my Psychic to get damage off on the ro uh, on the Mega DNC. But also, if he decides to go Rose Raid, I can get a huge chunk of damage off on that as well. So we're doing very, very nice here. Now here, I believe I am going to go out into my... I don't go into Skarmory, I don't think. I don't go into Venusaur. I do go into Venusaur. Okay. So I go into Venusaur here, predicting a potential grass move to come out. Of course, Sludge Bomb I could also take uh, with regular into Mega. So I go to my Mega Venusaur here, and I'm going to heal up. Uh, and you're going to see. I calculated it, and Extra Sensei was a roll in my favor to live. However, it turns out that he's modest, and it's actually not a roll in my favor. It's actually a roll in his favor, which he does not actually get. But, to try and preserve my Mega Venusaur's health, I clicked Synthesis here. If he had killed me, it wouldn't have really mattered. Because uh, he, I mean, he would have lived, but I would have been able to go out to Rabombi, turn Black, Mnectric, anything really, and just revenged him. So, Because uh, on the next turn, he's actually just going to kill me with the Extra Sentry. So. I mean, it sucks that he didn't get the roll the first time, but again, it didn't really matter, so. Mega Venus is going to go down, and we're going to have a double down here, and I believe I'm going to do the exact same thing I did last time, which is going to my fastest mod on the team, which is going to be Ramombi, as he sends in Dark, which is Zoroark, undisguised, which is really, really nice. I actually go into my Magnetric, which is cool. So, here, I'm going to risk the speed tie, uh, as he goes for Dark Pulse. I'm going to pray I don't get flinched here. I know I take one hit from this thing. As I'm going to Volt Switch on out of here. Uh, the only reason I didn't take a hit was if he was going to be... Whew, life Warp. But I expected a Scarf at this point. Just because he didn't really have anything that could outspeed it. So it's uh, the rest of my mod. So I knew that either this or the Mega Venus War was going to... Or the Guard Storm was going to be Scarf. So... But anyway. Uh, at this point, he does not have a switch in for Moonblast. I let I killed Rose Raid. I killed Scizor. He has no Moonblast resist. I'm going to click Spectre Moonblast, and I'm going to kill something. And it turns out it's going to be this Mega Deancey. So I'm going to 2-A-K-O that. And if he went Garchomp, it would have died. And if he would have stayed in with a Zorark, it would have died. And if he would have went into... What was this other Pokemon? Uh, oh, this. The Hitmonchan. It would have died. But this Hitmonchan is at 50%, which tells me it's a Zorark. Which also tells me that he's Scarf. Because he's going to go for Sludge Bomb here. So I'm going to go out to Pantless. Because I know our Sludge Bomb is coming in on our Dark Pulse. So, Sludge Bomb is going to come off here. And I want to be absolutely positively sure that this thing isn't Scarf, I believe. I believe here I make a double. Yes. Okay. So I make a double into my, um, Manectric. Trying to catch the, uh, really anything to come out. But unfortunately, he just Sludge Bombs again. Which sucks. Uh, but... I will be able to go out to my Karen Black this time. Uh, it really sucks that I didn't catch him on the double. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to be uh, changing its weapon clicking Dark Pulse, so I stand by my play. I didn't really even need my Nectric anyway, but I'm going to go to my Karen Black here. I know I take a hit from the Zoroark at this point, and I can just click Ice Beam because it's going to blow something back. If he goes into Assault Vest, it might take two. However, uh, that is max HP. That is definitely offensive. And I'm going to save my Karen Black and go out to my Pants list because... Unless he predicts a switch and goes for Thunder Punch and he's Adamant Life Orb, he does not 2 a on me, and I can just get damage off with Psychic. It turns out he's Adamant Life Orb, so if he went for Thunder Punch, he could have 2 would me. But I would have been okay with that. You gotta still have a full health Skarmor in the back, which has Sturdy, which could have finished this off with Iron Head. So, here comes the Thunder Punch. It is going to do that much damage, which is a lot of damage, and I'm going to be able to click the Scald, which I knew would have knocked him out, 
and I'm going to be able to finish off this Hitmonchan, which is very nice. The only two mods that he has left are his Scarf Zoroark and his Garchomp, which is just for Bombi food at this point. So, I'm going to get some residual recovery with my leftovers. And I'm going to... Uh, oh, he's going to go for U-turn, that's right. So he's going to go for U-turn here. I'm going to stay in and click Scald. I don't need this Pokemon anymore. I just need to get my Rebobby in on a move that isn't Sludge Bomb and click Moonblast. So, I'm going to uh, Scald here as I'm going to burn this Garchomp, which really kind of sucks maybe if he was like sub Salic or SD Salic. But I don't believe it was. And even if it was, well, he would have had to get into the range and he probably could have. But uh, anyway, uh, here he is going to double out. I believe I'm going to stay in once again. And click Scald, because again, I don't need this. I just need to get my Bombi in just to start murdering things. And I'm going to be able to Scald the Zoroark and kill it. And I believe that is going to be just about the game. So, here I'm going to click Slack Off, I believe, as he goes into his uh, Garchomp. He goes for Outrage, and he is going to do that much damage. And I click Psychic, actually, not uh, stock off. I click Psychic, and at this point, I'm going to preserve the differential. I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to preserve the differential. You never know when that one point can come in handy. I'm going to switch out into my Rabami, which uh, can take the outrage because it is a fairy type, and I'm going to be able to Moonblast this Garchomp. And we're going to walk away with a big 4-0 win, putting us in a nice slot in this division. So, uh, GG to Brandon. Very good game. Uh, sorry that you hate your team. Uh, but he made two actions, so... He still has a second half, almost, or a second, a third quarter, a third, a third third, there we go, the final third of the league to, uh, to pick up his, uh, records, I'm sorry, people are messaging me on Discord, uh, I'm, I still have, he still has the final third of the league to pick up his record and potentially make playoffs, so, a lot of fun this was. I'm very uh, content with this win. And next week, which is actually in like an hour, uh, we are going to be going against Goldoa Dragon, coach of the New York Napoleons. Hopefully we'll be able to him hand him, as Austin says, uh, hand him a fat L, because he needs me to. So, of course, anything for Austin, even though I failed him last time when he asked me to beat Ben. But, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed it very, very much, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.